What's up guys, it's your boy Guamza here and today I'm coming to you guys with some exciting, exciting, exciting news. Well, for me, for me, whoever uses my build and whoever is going for top rep, I have some exciting news for you. And on top of that, this might make you grind all the way to 99 and yes, the rep system is um, your overall again and um, yeah, so make. I just want you guys to know that it is your overall again. And some people think that it's two different rep systems. Like they have like a separate one for park and a separate one for um, career or whatever. But they don't. This is the this is the whole rep system, and we're gonna be going in depth. And we're gonna be going through this whole list, and we're gonna see which over which overalls are worth like the grind and stuff like that. We about to find that all out. Um, but as you guys can see, I'm averaging 20 points a game already, man. And I'm only a 61 overall. I should tell you that my build is already going to be OP. But anyways, let's get into the video. Um, Yeah, but you guys, you guys, I think you guys might like this list. For 65 overall, what you get is you get to head over to docks. You get to get your hair dyed. Um, you get pro level dribbling, shooting, dunking, and flashy pass animations. Um, you will have the ability to perform pre-game rituals. It's, it's pretty much nothing. Um, I feel like you shouldn't have to get a certain overall to dye your hair, but all right. Um, for 70 overall, you unlock the expressive badge. You show emer emotion during the game after big play. Elite level dribbling, shooting, dunking, and flashy pass animations will be available for your my player. You will have the ability, ability to perform celebrations now this is another thing that i feel like should not be like an overall re like reward like you should already have this like as soon as the game starts off but let's i mean i'm pretty sure all these things suck like until you get to 80 85 because that's what you can upgrade your player to so yeah i'm pretty sure all these are gonna suck Mitchu and Ness gear will be available at the NBA store. You will have the ability to create your own jump shot. My team has something for you, okay? Um, new era merchandise can now be found at the NBA store. Unlock, unlock uh, pregame rituals. Unlock signature remote animations. Now, I know that I know that for a fact you can throw footballs on this game because I've seen it in the trailer. Um, so you can definitely throw footballs. So basically, this is for 85 overall. This is where a lot of people are going to be starting because we know a lot of people are going to buy VC. So this is 85 overall. And this is what you get when you basically a lot of us are going to start out here. And this is what we're going to get. Um, you will be able to wear a custom jewelry only available at Swag's Main Street Clothing. Unlock signature celebration animations. My team has something for you. Um... And we ain't gonna get nothing else to fucking 90 overall. And when you get to 90 overall, we get... Uh, you will influence the way your NBA team operates from plays to roster movement. My team has something for you again. I don't know why they have so much my team stuff. I have no clue. I don't think they had that much my team stuff last year. But yeah, take it to the streets. Unlock your blacktop arcade machine for your my court. Last year... Last year... It was a basketball rim, like a basketball arcade rim. I don't think they have that again. And that was pretty much pointless. I don't know why they had that. Um, but clearly, once you hit 91, you can ride your bike and you get more rituals. So that's pretty cool. Um, 92 overall, you unlock the gym rat badge. No more gym workouts. And you will always have extra energy turbo available. Um, I want to let the world know what you think. I don't know what the hell that means. Drop a B, unlock your own personal beats machine. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what the second one stand like what that could be, everyone to let the world know what you think. Leave a comment down below what you think that could be. I don't know. Um at 93, you get unlock signature celebration animations tier two. You get invited to the VIP club. I don't know what that is, but if that's already kicking people off the spot, that is tough because that's only a 93 overall. And you're telling me at 93 you can already kick people off the court? I don't think that. I don't. Mm -mm. That's that's too early. That's too early. A little bit too early. 
want to perform um some tricks head over to wheels okay so i'm guessing that's where you like 93 you can like uh finally like do tricks on your bike and stuff um unlock the on uh, 94 overall you unlock the on court coach badge call the plays tell teammates to shoot and call for the ball okay that's pretty much nothing no one's really gonna care about 94 overall 95 you get a head start on your next my you get a head start on your next my player you talking about you talking about for this game or for 2k20 I think it's talking about for this game. That would be a little bit too. That would be too too good to be true. It would have said because it would have it would have said get a head start on your next my player in 2K20. Okay, so it has to be for this 2K. I'm just thinking ahead. Um, unlock signature emote animations tier four. I mean, I'm only thinking this because it's like I only make one player every 2K, like because I grind that one player. So it's like that's just me. Like I don't really see why somebody would make multiple i mean i understand why people do it you know to see make multiple builds see which one you want to use the most or just switch it up a bit depending on who you're playing with but i don't know i just use one build and one player only and yeah that's why all the grind is so easy for me but um that would be pretty cool if it, it lets you head started from like uh for the next 2k um why spin the wheel once when you can spin it twice okay so i'm guessing you can spin the wheel and the arc um we call it the ante up because they have like a like a spin the wheel i guess we can spin it twice every time now um for 96 you get oh you get double the vc massive style now ride available i'm guessing that's when you get the gold bike because there is a gold bike 97 who, what's better than skateboard how about one with no wheels oh so you have a hoverboard they have hoverboards in the game guys they have hoverboards in 2K. Hoverboards. That is crazy. Yo. All right, and this is what we all been wanting. Last year we did not have this. This is what we all been waiting for. We have mascots in the game, but you have to hit 98 overall to get a mascot. So all all the people talking about, oh, they want mascots. You most likely not gonna get it, man. They have them in the game, but you're most likely not gonna get it because you're not going to want to grind. I mean, let's face it. There's not everybody's going to hit 99. And if you hit 98, you're basically you might as well just hit 99 because you're already grinding a little bit 98. So why not just hit 99? So a lot of people are not getting mascots. I'm going to keep it 100 with you right now. A lot of people are not. Unfortunately, even though they did bring it in the game, I would say if they put it to maybe 96 if they would have put it to 96 then that would have been kind of reasonable because it's like it's 96 overall 95 would have been too low but i say 96 or 97 96 or 97 then i would see a lot of people you know actually trying to grind for that but 98 oh man People might see that and they be like, they might be like, oh, forget it, man. We're not even gonna try to go for mascots. Like, that's just too much. But who knows? It might, it might motivate a lot of people though. At the same time, it might motivate y'all. So I could be wrong. But yeah, you get mascots at 98 overall, and you get to be on 2K TV, which is pretty cool. Um, and by the way, drop a comment down below which our favorite mascot is. I'm just curious to know. Why not? I just, I don't know. <laughs> Why not tell people? But yeah, at 99 overall, you guys already know what you get, man. You become immortalized in 2K20. You unlock the legend badge, which is really cool. I'm telling you guys, I hit 99 last year. It is great, bro. It is a great feeling once you hit it. I'm going for it again. You guys already know I'm going for top rep. I think I should go for top rep like every single 2K now because it's like people pretty much see me as a grinder now. So yeah, I guess I got to live up to it now. So yeah, I'm going for 99 overall again. I'm starting college though, so it's going to be a little bit harder. But I'm still going to get to 99. When I say I'm going to do something, I, I do it, trust me. If you're a loyal sub or if you're a loyal, if you're loyal to me and what I do in my YouTube and my streams, you know that when I say I'm a grind, I grind, man. I, put, I go all out. Um, and that's what I did last year, 2K18. Grind to 99. It wasn't easy, but your boy did it. But um... 
Yeah, you get custom 2K shoes and you get a copy of NBA 2K20 Limited Supply, which is dope. So you get more stuff than you got last year, than we got last year. Because last year, um, us people who hit 99, we got custom Kyrie's. We got custom Kyrie's, but we ain't get no 2K19 Limited Supply. We just got custom shoes. So if you hit it this year, you get custom shoes and you get 2K20 Limited Supply. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to hitting it, man. Your boy's hitting it again. I'm letting you guys know I'm hitting it again. I'm not playing no games. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. What would you guys think? Let me know what y'all think of this, uh, this whole reward system, if you guys like it. Obviously, it's better than last year's because it has mascots. So, it, it's obviously better than last year's. Um, so, yeah, I'll just let me know what you guys think about the game so far. Are you guys hyped? Are you guys not hyped? Like, are you guys... You know, are you guys, like, disappointed or, like, did the game live up to the hype, you think? I mean, I don't know. We can't really judge because the game hasn't came out yet. But when it comes out, we'll see, man. And I'm hyped as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Excuse my language. I'm so hyped for this game to come out. So, yeah. Make sure you guys tune in, though. When the game comes out, I'm gonna be streaming it. I'm gonna be streaming it. I'm gonna be live. And yeah, bro, we grinding that whole weekend. And I don't, I, I promise, the whole weekend we're grinding, alright? So I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, And yeah, it's been your boy Guamzer, and I'm out. Peace.